Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy Lynette. If you are new here, welcome. If you're one of my faithful returning subscribers and a part of the Tracy Lynette tribe, thank you so much for joining me for yet another weekly review. Guys, thank you so much for being so patient with me. I normally upload on Sundays, but I was having some technical difficulties, so I had to postpone today's video until today. So thank you for being so patient and joining me on a Wednesday. So guys, today I'm going to be going over another their Bath and Body Works haul. This time, this is my favorite picks for spring. Right now, Bath and Body Works is having a buy three, get three free sale until April 11th. So take advantage of that. Stock up on your spring fragrances. Um, this is a great time to do it on all of their full size uh, body care and body mist products. So definitely take advantage of that. So I want to go over um, my picks and what I picked up. I actually picked these things up last week at the $5.95 sale. Um, and that's what Sunday's vlog was supposed to be about, the $5.95 sale and my picks for spring. But thank goodness there's another sale so you can still take advantage of that today. Guys, again, if you are new here, Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Please, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button before you leave today. We would love to have you a part of the Tracy Lynette tribe. So guys, let's just jump right into the first fragrance that I picked up. The very first one that I picked up was the Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Look at that bottle. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty and pink. I absolutely love it. But the juice is absolutely amazing. I love the juice. I did pick up the um, body cream as well. Um, look at that packaging. It is so pretty. Uh, this is a repackaged um, uh, fragrance that Bath & Body Works had out. And I believe it was 20, 2022. So in 2022, they brought out this Pink Pineapple Sunrise. And it is so good. It's so juicy. It's perfect for spring. So for me, actually, this is my scent of the day. It's what I have on right now. Um, but I'm going to just top that off again just to smell it. Mmm, that smells so good. I love pineapples. Like, I'm obsessed with pineapples. And this is pineapple done so good. It is absolutely amazing. The way that they capture pineapple here, it's like a sugared pineapple. So imagine a juicy ripe pineapple, okay? Like my mouth was watering just talking about it. A juicy ripe pineapple and you sprinkle sugar on it. That's what this smells like. But to me, I'm gonna go over the notes here in just a minute. On the dry down, something about this smells like cotton candy. Pink cotton candy to be exact. Um, it smells so good. This is one of the, my favorites that I picked up. I didn't have it when it launched in 2022. So this one is new for me and I, I love it. Um, the notes are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, drenched nectar. For me, I, I what I wrote down about this fragrance is sparkling, juicy, sweet, and bright. That's the best way I can describe this. And don't you want something that's bright and sparkling and juicy for spring? You know, winter time, we want to wear our heavier fragrances, things that have like vanilla in it, things that have like oud in it, although I'm not a big fan of oud, but you know what I mean? Like things that are heavier, that's going to stick to us, things that are really musky. But for springtime, you want something that's going to be a little bit lighter. For me, I live in a very hot uh, climate and I like things that are lighter when it gets really hot outside because you don't want something too heavy that's going to be too cloying, um, you know, something that's going to choke you out, something that's just going to be too much for the heat. So I say body mist and uh, Bath and Body Works fragrances are absolutely perfect for the springtime. They're light while still giving you that fragrance and leaving a fragrance trail. I mean, I, since I've been wearing this, I've gotten compliments everywhere I go. I went to um, Cole Sephora yesterday to take advantage of the Sephora sale, which I will be doing a um, review on what I picked up there um, as well coming up. But I, the girl said, you smell so good. What do you have on? And I told her it was Pink Pineapple Sunrise. And she's like, you smell 
really, really good. It's it's fresh, it's clean, it's just really, it's sweet. Um, and you know I'm a gourmand lover, and this is a gourmand fragrance. It's so sweet. If you like pineapple, if you like cotton candy fragrances, um, although cotton candy is not a note in here, that's what I do smell on the dry down. If you like those kind of fragrances, pick this one up. You might as well get three and you get three free. So this is a perfect time to stock up on your spring fragrances. I absolutely love this one. So moving right along because I have a couple to go over, a couple that I picked up. The next one is, I think my new obsession, it is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. This one right here, I, I had to go to Starbucks and pick up a piece of their Ice Lemon uh, Pound Loaf. Um, it's their, if you ever had that, Starbucks has like a Ice Lemon Pound Cake. It's a pound cake, but it's lemon and it has icing on it. This smells identical to that. It made me want that so bad, I had to go get a slice. I had to. I'm supposed to be on a diet. I'm supposed to be watching what I eat, but this wonderful, beautiful gourmand little beauty right here had me break that. <laughs> me break that diet i had to go and get it it is so oh my gosh gosh this smells so good to me if you like anything that is really sweet but also has a little bit of a zest to it this is perfect again i'm a gourmand girl if you're a gourmand lover like me this is something that you want to put in your spring collection. The lemon allows it not to be too heavy. So like I said, in the winter time, we want those vanilla fragrances, those really sweet fragrances. However, in the summer, in the spring, I still like a sweet fragrance, but not something that's just too heavy, too cloying. This is perfect. The packaging is absolutely adorable. And I did pick up the body cream in this as well. Um, look at that. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. Um, it's got little uh, lemons on it and little cupcakes. And it really is a representation of what the juice smells like and what the body cream smells like. And another thing I really like about Bath & Body Works body creams, especially for spring and summer, um, is that they have shea butter and hyaluronic acid. So it keeps you really smooth and, and silky and, um, and keeps your skin hydrated for spring. You know, when it starts to get hot outside, you want to make sure that you're staying hydrated, not only inside your body with water, but you also want to make sure your skin is hydrated. And so this lotion is really, really great. I love Bath & Body Works body creams. They are just absolutely amazing. They're not too heavy. They're not too greasy. They're perfect. So if you like Gourmand, if you love Gourmand, this right here is absolutely magnificent. So the um, notes in this are sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. I said that this is sweet, gourmand, and absolutely yummy. That's the way I describe this fragrance right here. I've been wearing it every single night after my shower because I like to smell very, um, I like a comforting smell when I go to sleep. I like something a little sweet. I like something that's just gonna kinda like wrap its arms around me. And this does that. Even though it's um, mouthwatering, it makes me hungry, <laughs> which is sometimes is not good when you're going to sleep because you don't wanna eat and then lay down. But this right here is just, um, it gives me like a cozy vibe because of the sweetness, that icing. Um, you know, it's just really, really, really good. I absolutely love this fragrance and I am really happy with this purchase. And I did buy a backup bottle because I like it that much. And so if you are a gourmand lover like me, this is ideal. If you ever had their strawberry pound cake, uh, Bath and Body Works, this to me is that, but 10 times better. So if you like that, you'll like this. This right here is amazing. The lemon gives it that zest that makes it perfect for spring. So my next fragrance was something I was unsure about picking up. And this is the new Bridgerton Diamond of the Season fragrance. I wasn't all that excited about this one. I don't watch Bridgerton. Um, however, I know what it is. I've, you know, I've, I've seen it before. It's on Netflix and lots of people love it. I just haven't had a chance to really get into it, but I know that people really love that show. Um, and I really love this fragrance. So when I went into Bath & Body Works, uh, the rep said, hey, you want to try our new Bridgerton line? And I'm like, no, not really here for that. I'm just picking up some spring fragrances. And she goes, this one is perfect for spring. You need to smell it. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll smell it. And guys, when I tell you this is so good, this to me is almost 
perfumey almost. Um, it's a little bit, to me, it seems a little bit stronger than just your regular fragrance mist. To me, there's something in here that is a little bit heavier, um, even though it's primarily a peach scent. And I love peach and fragrances. And I think peach is perfect for spring. So like I said, in the springtime, summertime, you want something that's going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher, a little bit, um, you know, a, a cleaner vibe. And this is that. I love this one right here. And it was a very, um, it was a, a pleasant surprise. So this one has uh, sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. Perfect for spring. Those notes are perfect for spring. This is really good. I didn't pick up the lotion or body cream because when I picked this up, my the Bath and Body Works that I went to didn't have those in stock. They only had this and some of the um, the um, hand uh, soaps and some of the like the uh, candles and all the other things that they have in the Bridgerton collection, but they didn't have the lotion yet. So um, I know that they do have a lotion and body cream and I may pick that up. I'm not sure, but I really do like this. Also, I like to say that this one leans a tad bit masculine on the dry down. I'm not quite sure what it is that leans a little masculine to me, but something about it um, does. On the onset, it's very peachy, it's very sparkling and, and, and very fruity, but the dry down, it's a little bit more serious. Um, I say that this leans a little more unisex. So guys, if you like fragrances that are fruity and that are, are bright, um, you could definitely get away with this. You could definitely wear this. I mean, you know, anybody can wear anything, but this definitely is, I would say, more of a unisex um, fragrance. Out of all the fragrances that I picked up, this is the only one I would say would lean more unisex. So guys, if you like peach, if you like, you know, something a little lighter for spring, this would be perfect for you, actually. I really like this. I said that it's peachy, sweet, crisp, and again, it could be unisex. Very good. I really like that. Um, not disappointed with that purchase and actually pleasantly surprised. So moving on, my next one is Brightest Bloom. Look at that packaging. It is so pretty and perfect for spring. Look at the flowers. It's just so incredibly pretty. I hope you can see that. Um, this one is a brand new release and I heard so much about this one and I had to smell it because people kept saying that this one smells like Chanel Chance Etendre. And guess what? Smells just like it. It smells just like it. I also have a uh, Chanel Chance. And if you watch the channel, you know that this used to be my signature scent for a very, very long time. The Chanel Chance, the Etendre, um, the Eau de Toilette version, because there is an Eau de Parfum now, but the Eau de Toilette is the fragrance that I wore for many, many years. I still love it. I still wear it. It's a perfect spring fragrance because it gives you longevity. Um, it creates a beautiful scent bubble. It's just a really pretty fragrance. And for, to be an auto toilette, the longevity is really good. I normally get at least five to six hours out of this fragrance before I have to top it off. And now I have something that I could top it off with without having to use all of my designer fragrance. I am so in love with Brightest Bloom. It is such a pretty fragrance and it's not supposed to be a dupe of Chanel Chance, but the similarities are so, so close. I can't believe how much this smells like that. Um, the notes in this one are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, fresh cedar wood and i love cedar wood in a fragrance if you know me you know i love cedar wood at the base of of a fragrance i think it just kind of grounds the fragrance and it makes it smell really good i absolutely love it um this fragrance to me i i said that it's it's pretty it's feminine soft and smells a lot like chanel chance if you have chanel chance if you like chanel chance etendre uh the eau de toilette version you'll love this. You will love this. This is the fragrance mist version of that. So this is perfect to throw in your bag and top off your Chanel Chance. I say this is perfect for a bridal shower, perfect for a baby shower. Um, if you're going to an outdoor event, a cookout midday, this is a perfect fragrance for spring. It is so 
very pretty. It's so feminine. It's so soft and it smells really, really good. This one to me also is very much like a perfume. Um, it's, it's a, it's a fragrance mist, but it's going to give you more of a perfume vibe. And I absolutely love that. You get your bang for your buck with this one. Um, and last but not least, one of the fragrances that I slept on, I slept on Dahlia. Guys, I had no idea that Dahlia was this amazing. I've seen it in stores before. This is a repackage. Um, you know, Bath and Body Works will do a repackage here and there um, where a fragrance will be out and then they'll bring it back out at a later time and they'll just repackage it. And they did that with Dahlia. And guys, when I tell you this is such a, the packaging, first of all, look at the packaging. The packaging is absolutely beautiful and so is the fragrance. I did pick up the lotion and I have been using quite a bit of it. <laughs> um, it has a, a big dent in it. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I have used this one and I tried not to use it all up because I didn't want my lotion to be gone before I was able to put this video out, but I love this. This is a perfect fragrance for spring. Guys, let me go over the fragrance notes in this one. This one has uh, Dahlia Petals, Chris Pear, and Praline. I love pear in a fragrance. I love praline in a fragrance. I didn't know that I loved Dahlia petals, but now I know that I do. <laughs> um, this is absolutely stunning. This again is more perfumey. It gives me more of like a perfume vibe. It smells so good. It's very fresh, but it, uh, it definitely has a lasting power. And to me, if you don't want to wear a perfume and you want something a little bit lighter because it's hot outside, it's getting hot outside, this is a perfect option. I'd say this is really a great option for like a festival or an outside concert. This would be really nice. This is also really good for like, um, a lunchtime date because you get that perfume vibe without being too heavy. It's really pretty, really, really feminine. And this one right here is perfect for spring. I think that this one will be one of the ones that I reach for the most. I really, really love this one. I think that it smells, the praline in it gives it um, a really sweet uh, scent to me. Um, it gives it more of a like a heavier vibe than just, uh, you know, one of the fruitier fragrances. Although it has pear in it, it has a fruit in it. It's not like I wouldn't consider it like a fruity fragrance. It's more of a sweet, soft, feminine fragrance. This one is so beautiful. I absolutely love this. If you want something that is going to be more of a perfume, something that's sweet, something a little sophisticated. I wouldn't say mature like and as in you know like matronly or anything like that but it is something that's going to be a little bit more um more mature than your average fruity florals or your fruity uh fragrances for spring. This is a really good option if you're doing something that's going to be a little bit more serious and you want to have something that's not too heavy, not too serious, but something that's a little bit more mature than just a fruity body a body mess. So Dahlia is one of my absolute favorites that I picked up. Guys, I say if you can get into a Bath and Body Works or go online and take advantage of this buy three, get three um, free sale, do it. Stock up for spring. This is the perfect time. You know, in spring, you want to... Get, put on something that's lighter, something that's a little fresher, something that's a little brighter. And this is the perfect time. I say a body mist is the way to go instead of wearing something too heavy and too cloying. So you want to move from your heavy fragrances into something lighter for spring and then into summer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you like this content and you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I would love to have you be a part of the Tracy Lynette tribe. So guys, I know it's midweek. Happy hump day. And I hope that you guys are having a very good week. And I hope that you continue to have a very good week, a blessed week. I love you all. Thank you for joining me for another review. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video. But before I go, like I always say, don't forget to what? Always smell good, look good, and be good. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.